So for the last few streams I've done on my channel, I've mainly been playing one single game, and that game being Need for Speed Heat. I've had a lot of fun with this game, and I've created quite a list of memories both off and on my streams. I've also created some weird ass cars that were really created for the purpose of meme culture. So today, I'd like to show you some of those cars in a video I've made with a buddy of mine called Ryan Mears. Now sit back and enjoy the video, because it's hardly what you are expecting. So uh, Ryan, you there? Yes. All right. Hello. Uh, yeah, uh, people. This is Ryan. He is going to be with us today. I think uh, some of you have met him on various different streams, uh, but he is he is here with us today. They call me the catalyst. The catalyst of what? Chaos. What kind of chaos are you causing out there? All kinds of chaos. Could you specify? No. We're gonna take out the Boomer Mustang today, so the, I, let me introduce you to the Boomer Mustang, and the reason we call it the Boomer Mustang should be relatively obvious, considering a, uh, a variety of things. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Most of the cars in here, as many of you can tell, have been upgraded to the max. Well, almost to the max, meaning that it is... Quite fast. And I'm late to work in the morning. I'm late to work. Yeah, this is me when I wake up at 7.30 and I have an 8 a.m. class. It is fun when you realize it is 7.30 and you have to run. Hey, you know what's even better? What? Dying. Oh. Oh yeah, now, now we're really getting things cooking now. So basically, what I love so much about the Boomer Mustang is nobody expects it to be faster than a hypercar. But the reality of the situation is, the Boomer Mustang is always better than you. Well, this LA traffic at 7 p.m. is really something else. <laughs> LA traffic. There do be cars. There do be cars up here, though. And Amberlands too. <laughs> Amberlands. Yeah. Why? Do, why are there so many Amberlands out? I don't understand. Like, is there just so many people dying out here in the streets of LA? Yes. It's L.A. What do you expect? Ow. Oh, come on. Not again. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, by the way, there's cops in this game. And they come after you. But that's not all. It's like those infomercials and stuff back in 2009. But wait, that's not all. No, you mean like uh, Billy Mays and all that? Oh, but yeah. Wait, but wait, there's more. If you call right now, we'll send you 63 more for the same price. <laughs> there is absolutely no guarantee, but hey, what? Wh there wh is wh absolutely no guarantee. There is no guarantee. <laughs> Ow. You see this cop? No, you don't, because oh. he's gone. Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. Oh. Did I. Did I just magically lose my health? Oh. Just a normal day in the streets of uh, Los Angeles. Oh my gosh! Yep, see? Normal day. Yep, yep, you got trucks driving straight at you. It's normal activity. This is, this is just, this is just how it is in the streets of Miami. Well... Oh great, now we've gone to Miami, oh god. Well technically it is Miami. Great, right, now we've got the zombies and Cubans to deal with. <laughs> Well, the cops are after me, so there's got to be a way. You know, there's always a way to get out of situations like this. And uh, the closest place is the lake. So let's just head there and everything will well, be let's good. Let's just drive straight. <laughs> you drove straight into the ocean. Well, all right. Welcome uh, back. Yes. yes. All right. So welcome back. Uh, last time we left off, we were in the Boomer Mustang. And now we've upgraded to a... Cl uh, I'd say classic, uh, but also not classic Mustang, as in, yeah, you, you, you know. And you're probably wondering, where's the meme? Well, allow me to tell you, for those of you that know Uncle Lou on YouTube, which um, hopefully a majority of you do, if you don't, uh, cut a clip, cut a clip for him. Friggin' Nashville! Anyway, Uncle Lou is a YouTuber, so, uh, and he, he drives this, he drives a Mustang, 
and uh, I tried to make the Mustang look exactly like his, and today, we're gonna drive Lou's Mustang. Take a look at the speed of Lou's Mustang. I didn't know he- I didn't know Lou had much- this- this much power in his Mustang. When you lose to Vanderbilt. Oh yes. Amber Lamb's back at it oh, again. Oh, good job. How was there so many ambulances? We've- I think we've literally passed about four or five. I'm gonna have to put a count on that. I think that's number three. So this is this is what you get. This is what happens when you make Lou angry. Friggin' no! You know I'm beginning to feel that this is a little more relaxing than it should be. What? Just what is? The everything here. This is a, quite a bit more relaxing than it should be because usually, like people should be on their toes when they're racing at over 150 miles per hour trying to avoid several different objects on the road, especially that. But with me. No, we just vibing out here. You know, it took serious skill to do what I just did. Man. Man. Sometimes you do gotta have skills to drive the Mustang. I do be pulling up to the Chick-fil-A, though. This is how we pulling up to the Chick-fil-A. Well, well, well. We meet again, and now you're gone. Because I'm better than you, and there's nothing you can do about it. It is inevitable, almost. It is inevitable. You have met your demise. Oh, okay. Alright. Well, the boomer truck's dead, everyone. So you may have noticed right before, uh, the- the Lou's- the Lou Mustang hit the, uh, hit the water, I said, Oh no, there goes the boomer truck or something like that. I'm afraid the boomer truck isn't gone, because the boomer truck is right here. As you can see right here. This looks like something somebody in the Confederacy would drive. The entire the entirety of it looks like toothpaste, except for the uh, except for the American. This is more of something the a redneck would drive, not a Confederate. Something else I feel the need to point out is that there is also an E in the back of the car. There is no that th th there is really no purpose of this. It's there. There's also an H on the front, but uh, you know, I it, it's barely kinda, visible. It's also kind of hard to see. It looks more like, of like something that somebody just plastered on there, but yeah, just just pretend that's an H and uh, E. So you may be wondering, how are you able to drive a car like this in a place where you have a couple of uh supercars out there? How are you gonna How are you gonna win a race with a truck? Well, the answer to that question may surprise you. And that is by just being better than everyone else. See this GTR? No, you don't, because it's gone. The tooth. Oh uh, yeah, it's gone. Yeah, the toothpaste. The the, the toothpaste looking truck thing just passed it, and uh, I don't know why. Bruh. I don't know if any. Okay, hold on. I just died. So I don't know if any of you noticed, but uh, that underglow there. It is actually. It, most people would just say nice Bruh. clean underglow there. No, it is not. First of all, ow. And secondly, that is not green underglow. That is actually, believe it or not, mint underglow. Yes, notice how terrible it looks. Well, the thing is, it doesn't even look that much different than green, but uh, apparently Ryan can definitely tell the difference. It still looks terrible. Uh, fifth place. Uh... Yeah, so you see that? That is the problem here. This is a, this is the truck that is used for off-road races, and even then it's hard to win in this because this is the worst car in the game, factually because it literally only cost eighteen thousand compared to like cars that cost a hundred thousand. And as you can see here, I am struggling to turn. I thought I, I came. Well, no, I came. You know, no, no. Forfeiting is for forfeiters, and I am not a forfeiter. I, I wish I was, because then I wouldn't have to waste my time on this, but hey, I'm, I'm not. I was born to win this, and that is exactly what I'm going to do. And I will do everything I can to win it. That and that includes...
everything in life is a lie. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna try that again, because last time we were here, we kind of just died. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try that again. <laughs> what? All right, so that was a complete fail. Here we go again. Kick the nitrous to start, and uh, why is my health bar at critical at the start of the race? Uh oh. That is not good. I don't like that one. You see that? The, these people really out here thinking that they're something special. Well, I, I gotta tell you something. You're not. You see how close I am to you? Lam that's a Lamborghini right there. And a Lamborghini out, out here about to get out Oh no, actually already out raced by a truck. Blam, a truck on the less and BMW. Well, and look at how that went. I forget what I said about the ambulances. The BMWs are the ones that always come back to kill me. And the reason I say that isn't actually anything to have to do with just this video alone. Take a look at any of my live streams, and I guarantee you, you'll find you'll find some clips of me. Uh... We're gonna race quit, man. Did you win? <laughs> And let me tell you, it sucks big monkey cheeks. Uh, what is anything anymore? What is life? It's not. I, I might not get last place. I didn't get last place. Yay! See this? These people really think there's something, don't they? Well, hey, hey, it's okay. I'm just vibing here. Okay, all right, you want to kill me. All right, that's fantastic. Look at them. They're, they're, they're close, but they're not close enough. <laughs> so they called off the pursuit, eh? How you doing, buddy? Oh. Boom. Just like didn't that. Didn't even get chase started. Oh, no, I, I still did. Well, I right. Did I? Okay. I guess I just gave up. Oh, hey. How's it going? What? Oh, okay. All right. They, they, did you see how they just sat there for a minute? Just trying to... Uh, were they like... So we're on to the next car here, and uh, we, we got a good one here today. Um, I'm not exactly sure what this is. All I know is that it is car. So you see, the thing is... We were thinking about what to call this, and uh, it's, everything is just white. And, uh, yeah, that's there. And then, that's there. I think you can tell where this is going. This right. is the Perk 30 Mobile. This is literally, this is the car that comes in production once you get your vibe check. Kids, always make sure that, uh, when you go out driving for the first time, always make sure to take your vibe test. Otherwise, you'll probably die. So immediately, as you may have noticed, the supercars over here are nothing still compared to... That was on me. As I was saying before, I got rudely, uh, rudely interrupted by the wall that came over me. The Perk 30 car pretty much outruns that of supercars. The, the bad part about that is, its handling is absolute monkey cheeks. Right while we're on the topic of at oh come on. Wow. All right. While we're on so the topic it, of pain. Yeah, so, yeah, that. Uh what is your opinion on this car? This car do be the perk thirty mobile though. It do be going I, fast. I, I'm pretty sure we already covered okay. <laughs> I'm not I'm not sure how long how much longer this thing's gonna last, considering the fact that I don't think this thing is set for the road, but Oh boy. Oh boy. 
Wait, am I really about to pass first place? Th I just won. I thought, but I was like, I, I, I said to myself, I couldn't win, and then I won. Wow, great job. The reality, reality is often not disappointing. Like, it completely ruined what I was going to say, but I'm not even, I'm not even disappointed about that. Alright then, ladies and gentlemen, so, I've decided to go ahead and save the best creation for last. Uh, so, you guys strap yourselves in, because I'm about to show you the, the greatest creation I've ever come up with. Alright, so as, as we close things up here, I would like to introduce you guys to the last of our, uh, of our collections of weird, stupid cars. Intr introducing to you guys none other than my greatest creation of all, the Clown 96. Let's be real, you thought that was something else. We, you, you, you all thought that was something else. But guess well, what? In reality, in development, it was suggested that it should be something else. But this man thought it would be Bigfoot. It turns out it wasn't. I, uh, it wasn't at all. I mean, it's also fun. It's also funny that I tricked 100% of the comment section with this one because I know I did. Here's a little lesson in trickery. So what I love about this car is it's extremely fast because of how light it is. The only thing I don't like is that it's handling is the equivalent of a literal, and I mean liber literal, piece of doo-doo sh**. So here we go. Why. Yeah, look at all these, look at all these fancy looking cars now, nah, man. Y'all are nothing compared to the Clown 96. I'm convinced that this car is literally the, literally the equivalent, like the car equivalent of the Joker. And there is no way that you can tell me otherwise. But which now the question I'm asking is which Joker would it end up being? Like would it be? Uh, I mean, would it be Heath Ledger? Would it be? Uh, would it be the ones from the cartoons? Or the or everyone's favorite, the "You Get What You Deserve" Joker. That is a real question, and I can't answer it. I don't think any of them willingly fell into rivers. Can somebody tell me why everyone's just so fascinated with my car? I mean, like, you, you have all of these re really nice looking supercars. I'm gonna that, post this on social media. And then, and then you got this. Like, I can't tell if... May, maybe this is our, part of our crew. Like, the crew that does things ironically for the purpose of being funny. I mean, I gotta be honest, if I saw that thing actually existing, I, I would be intrigued as well. You're probably right. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, great. Well, and you know, that's it. All right, so that's a review of all our meme cars. We've had quite a few, but uh, I think it's time that we uh, get another one. What, what do you guys say? What do you, Ryan, Ryan? I am in favor. I think we all are. Inclu the two of us in here, I think we're both in favor of that. So what, what we're going to do is die. That's exactly what we're going to do. No, but actually what we're going to do is, uh, die. But actually, actually what we're going to do is we're going to get into the dealership and we're going to buy ourselves a brand new car. So, we found ourselves the car that we're going to use. And, uh, I gotta say, it's a pretty good choice of mine. We've looked through all the cars and I've come up with a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good decision on what we're going to use. It's a, it's a one of its kind, never used it before. It's it's going to be fun to use. And that car is none other than Mustang. So, or we could also refer to this as the the uh, the horse car. I think it's time that we uh I think it's time that we do some upgrades on it. So, I greet this out to all of the Tennessee Vols fans on my YouTube channel everyone that is and this uh, this is also a call out to my native team i've decided that we're going to turn this into none other than the fall stay <laughs>
have done it, ladies and gentlemen. We have created the one and only Volstang. It's one of its kind. Well, we see our newest creation here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and take this thing out for a drive, shall we? It's nice and fast. Gotta say that. It's also not that hard to control. Kind of feels like a lose Mustang. I wonder why. Can't be because it's the same car or something, but is it? It's, is it good? I'm guessing it is. Well, yeah, it's good. It's just surprisingly unstable. Just like our. Just like Tennessee. Yeah. I was just gonna say the same thing. You took my joke. You took my joke. The one, and only, the one and only <laughs> joke I had, and you took it. I can tell that the people in the comment section probably have many questions as to why I've created this. And the main question is probably going to lie with, uh, why did you spell uh, Tard wrong uh, on the license plate? Well, guess what? Many people are going to think that that was intentional, and many will think that was unintentional by accident. You'll just have to... As I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted, you will just have to find out, won't you? Usually I'd have some hilarious one-liner to add here, but really I don't have anything. See this, Ryan? Watch this. Watch this. All right. This is about- this is gonna be great. This is gonna be fantastic. Here we go. Here we go. Oh and man. And ramp. Oh yeah. Ramp. Oh yeah. Yep, nailed that harder than your- all right, so this is how we're gonna end things here. Ooh. Boom, you see that? Cop chase started. Uh, I don't want it to end as soon as it began. Man, it sure is taking you a while to get here, isn't it? Man. Man, 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 oh. Okay, whoa, 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 watch it, Chief. <laughs> This is the, what, what we're gonna do is it, 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 it's gonna be fantastic. As soon as I get it, ow, ow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Things are about to get real heated. Get it. Because the, the game, uh, deeper speed heat, things are getting uh, heated. Ha, 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 ha. ha, ha. Kill yourself. All right, so this is this is what we're gonna do here. So you see this? You see this? There's a ramp up ahead here, and I don't know why this happens, but you see, I'm about to go on this ramp, and uh, this seems to be a classic trope amongst. Uh, so here, here, here we go. So. Da -da -da -da. You know, I'm not exactly sure why that happens, but it just seems it, it, it just seems to happen. All right, here we go. Now they're after me. All right, here we go. Watch this. We're doing it again. Oh. I really, I, I, I don't, I, I cannot explain. I cannot explain how that works, but it's the funniest damn thing every time it happens. Oh wait, no, they're about to... Hold on, no, 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 I, I need to go back there. No, no! Okay, hold on, I'm gonna get to them. Okay, alright, that's fine.